Hi guys, it's Ricky, Head of Stock and Logistics at Haxton's. Today you'll find me in Kingley Court, just off the famous Carnaby Street, where I'm going to meet Nicholas, who's the head bartender at the recently opened Second Night Jar. Interestingly, in this venue, previous occupants have been in the music industry and have had performances of Bob Marley, The Beatles and The Rolling Stones. Today, we get to talk about everything whiskey, so let's go. This is Nicholas, head bartender at Nightjar. Hi, Nicholas. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, yourself? Very good, thank you. Good, good. So if you could tell us maybe a bit about yourself and Nightjar, because this is the second site that's open, yes. right? So yeah, a bit about yourself. Yeah, so I've been working in hospitality for almost seven years. So I've been traveling a bit around in Maldives, Switzerland, and then I moved to London in the past five years. Okay. I've been working in a company for three years in Nightjar. I started in the old street in Nightjar, and then still uh, just a couple of months ago, they just opened uh, the carnival one. They yeah. just moved here. So what we do essentially is a speakeasy of the bar. So we do live music, it's jazz, blues, every day, different artists every day. And uh, we just, we try to make great drinks, create a right atmosphere with yeah. music and good drinks. Perfect. Yeah. So should we grab a seat and talk about right. whiskey? Let's do it. Thank you. So Nicholas, uh, this site for Nightjar has been open just under two months. Yes. Exactly. Um, so can you give me a bit of um, an info on your current whiskey selection? So we currently have uh, about 17 bottles be between single malt and blended whiskey. Yeah. Obviously, uh, we just opened, so our selection is not huge. Definitely planning to add a few more bottles. What they try to do is to be a bit equal and, and have a few bottles of everything, so to, to, to get the customer oh, whatever they want to, to have. We got quite a few great expression sure. of good whiskey like Glenfiddich 21 and the blue label that we're gonna see soon. Okay, and region wise, have you got different countries uh, or? Uh, we got free whiskey from Japan and mainly we focus on Scotch, we go Highland, Highland and uh, Space Side at the moment and a lot of bourbon and rye as well. Okay, perfect. And um, sometimes people think that the traditional whiskey drinker is your sort of older gen mm -hmm. who is of a certain age and will just drink by a fireplace or something like that, right? right. Um, so we, we're trying to sort of um, buck the trend and get people's views in the market about how things look. So for you, what, is, what does the whiskey drinker look like for you in this bar? So I will say my perspective of bartending, what we see every day, uh, people get more interested in terms of whiskey in mixing the, into the cocktail. Just a couple of examples, we have a couple of drinks that involve whiskey, the main, uh, the main uh, spirit is whiskey in the drink and they're very popular, so the best seller. So we get like Toronto, which is like an old fashioned style with bourbon, then we go the soul kiss that we go Harburg in it and we go to Ortuga for example another great great drink we go Lafroy. So they are lots of involved the, 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 the Scotch whiskey in that. So I think the perspective of this whole view is definitely changing. We're definitely going to a market with is for everybody, let's say for every every right. step of ages. And I see every day when we, we're making drinks for people and also my perspective of bartender is great to make drinks a bit with whiskey because there's a lot to play, there's a lot of flavour, there's a lot of expression behind the liquid. So it's it's great to work with it and people I think really enjoy that. Perfect. And in regards to sort of the most expensive whiskey that you carry at the moment, what would it cost most expensive per shot and maybe most expensive cocktail that you have? So we actually carry the Johnny Walker Blue Label uh, in a house and I think it's the most finest expression of Johnny Walker. Um, yeah, we have actually a drink with Johnny Walker, so we sell it as a double shot okay. if you want to obviously sip it. Or we have a, a really great drink with uh, Johnny Walker called Sony Moon. And, um, we mix it really well with one of our liqueur and uh, also we plan this drink that has to be for everyone so right. it's definitely a rich complex drink but as we mentioned before um, it, it's for everybody not just for old people who just think about how we said uh, um, for a restricted kind of a group of people yeah. we think about to go something fresh citrusy but at the same time get the expression of obviously Johnny Walker blue label has a rich and full body and Definitely deep flavor. Perfect. And how much would a with a single and a double shot so of Johnny? So double Walker? shot is forty eight pounds, and our drink is twenty six. And do you sell much of those? Oh, definitely, definitely. We just like last last week we finished a bottle of that. Really? Uh, just in, in drinks and a couple of a few sipping, but people have a lot to request in that. And yeah, we we find that people 
really get into the whiskey and uh, obviously if you make a great drink people appreciate it and we have a couple of tables that get two times so it's, it's a good sign it's a right good sign. perfect and out of the selection that you've got what would you say is your your favorite so my favorite it's coila which is uh isla's whiskey uh, i think it's uh it's a great whiskey for people that uh, not drink whiskey every day so I'm, I'm a whiskey drinker but not doing it every day so your palate is not heavy it's to to have the, the weakness and the full body and the yeah. abb so i really like the coil expression of the 12 years old uh, because it's slightly sweet the the pitiness is not too strong and it's very elegant and fine it's definitely my favorite whiskey it, to be honest very affordable price also around if you want a double shot so it's, right. it make it perfect for me uh, oh good perfect well you mentioned earlier you're going to make me a cocktail yes. so it's five o'clock somewhere so should we go to the bar right perfect Let's do that. So Nicholas, you're going to now make me the most expensive cocktail with yes. the Johnny Walker Blue Label. This so, honeymoon. Yes. Honeymoon. Over Let's to you. Do. Let's do that. So for our drink, we always try to get connection of, um, of almost everything. So it's a, it's a stereo cocktail. And we're using this lovely cup made, handmade from one of the, the mom of one of the guys that used to work in, in here. So we chill in glass with dry ice. And obviously, we get our Blue Label. Like that. And we add in our liqueur, which is forbidden liqueur, which is an interesting story behind. We found this, this liqueur in an old cocktail book and was based on, uh, on grapefruit peel right. and uh, a bit of sweet wine, uh, like sweet vermouth or uh, Amontillado sherry. Uh, we actually reinterpreted it with pomelo peel. Uh, we let it rest uh, in vodka and infused uh, for a couple of weeks. And then we add in a bit of um, Amontillado sherry, fino sherry, and a bit of sugar syrup to let, make it sweeter. At the end, we're gonna add a bit of lemon, lemon drop, a bit of right. lemon juice, and put a bit of citrus in that. You will see it's gonna really open up the drink, and the combination of the, the great whiskey of Blue Label is gonna perfectly uh, balance with, uh, with a four different liquor. Right. And just quick stir. stir. How many of these do you sell a day? Uh, so we just finished this, the week with the, we finished a bottle this week. So wow. we have kind of once one a day and during the weekend it's kind of get more popular. Like this Saturday we sell it like 17. Right. It was actually a crazy Saturday. <laughs> so we sell with a little chunk of ice and yeah. a lovely edible flower on the top. So hope you like it. And nice. Let's try the honeymoon. Cheers. Cheers. I've actually never seen it presented in something like that. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a piece of art, really. So let's go. But yeah, smooth, right? And it's you can, you can taste the citrus and yeah, it's forbidden liquor. Go, have a go on that. Don't know how to hold it. One hand, try it, go on. <laughs> wow. How is nice, it? Right? Yeah. It's not They're too like... it's not too impactful, it's like no, quite that, sweet. That, that's well what balanced, I said. Right? That's what I said. It, it was real to say it has to be for everybody. Yeah. So you expect a blue label, you get maybe very heavy old fashioned or something, you know. Yeah, it hits you, right? Exactly, yeah. hitting the gap. But it's not for everybody. So for me, I'm not drinking whiskey every day so if you make a drink like that too heavy people not appreciate the much no. so they're not they don't want to spend the money anymore but making a drink like that it's really well balanced as the richness but still a few drop of lemon that's opened up the bit of citrus yeah. in there I think that's, that's, what I was that, that's the trick the citrus, yes. yeah, yeah. Really just open through. up and it's for every age for 25 and as i said before there was people on saturday day order two times so right. which is a great thing in, yeah, in a drink because it's it's catchy and also it's expensive, so if you catch it and you're able to spend the money and you get two time, it's uh, it's 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 great. Right, no, definitely. Nice, no, lovely. Thank you. Cheers. You 
expect by looking at the colour that it's going to really like punch you and be really mm -hmm. strong, but it's quite quite fruity and sort of taste of citrus as well. So I'm guessing what you said, like it's a cocktail that appeals to exactly. most drinkers, experienced and novice whiskey drinkers as well, right? Definitely. That's what we try to do. We try to reach everybody, all the flavour from everyone. Right. Obviously, as you said, everyone expects like a punchy uh, whiskey cocktail, but we try to get everyone involved. So we got a touch of citrusy, a touch of fruitiness and a really rich flavor from the from our liquor. Right. And definitely the, the great uh, blue label give deep and full body uh, finish. So yeah, it's lovely, Nicholas. Um, well, it's a pleasure meeting you and this lovely venue. And so if anyone's in the local area, it's Kingley Court just off Carnaby Street. Right, exactly right here. We open from five o'clock till late night. Uh, Friday, Saturday until 2, the rest of the day until 1. We have live music every day, so please come, enjoy a few good drinks and live music. Perfect, yeah, Thanks. so it's been good to meet you, understand your story, your selection, and more importantly, taste, taste a lovely cocktail. So thank you so much, yeah, and you. listen, you have a good day, okay? Thank you for the visit. Cheers, thank take you. care, thank, thank you. you.